Hey Seahawks and welcome back to Seahawks Central News. We've got a great show for you today with a look into the Azalea Festival that just occurred in downtown Wilmington. UNCW honored with a new recognition and more. I'm Boyce Rucker. And I'm Garrett Wishon. Sit down and stay tuned because Seahawks Central News starts right now. Wilmington has many events that celebrate its rich history, but not many draw as big of a crowd as the Azalea Festival. The 75th North Carolina Azalea Festival took place this past weekend. Family and friends gathered for festivities like the Dollar General Parade and the Street Fair. Located at the Schwartz parking lot of Cape Fear Community College, the Street Fair operated with over 200 food vendors and shopping vendors to make it the best experience possible. For three days straight, guests could treat themselves to food and drinks in the company of games and live music performances. The children's area also allowed for a bit of family-friendly fun. The Azalea Festival is a Wilmington event that stays cheerful and lively after 75 years. The street fair is only one of the big highlights that add to the fun. For anyone who can make it this time around, there's always next year. UNCW is continuing to excel and climb as the school's program records have moved up 25 spots in the list of 2022's best graduate schools. Two other UNCW programs such as social work and geology made the list for the first time in the top graduate schools in the United States. Also earlier this year, UNCW was recognized as one of the top online programs of 2022, in particular the nursing online program. Also just recently, the school made the list of the one of the three UNC school systems among the top public national universities. This is the third year UNCW has appeared here with UNC Chapel Hill and NC State University. According to James Weinbreak, the Provost and Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs, we are pleased to be recognized nationally once again for UNCW's graduate school excellence and innovation. The school remains committed to growth with quality, adding selective doctoral and graduate programs that are attracting some of the nation's top researchers and faculty, as well as preparing our current and future students to become tomorrow's workforce in North Carolina and beyond. Now here's our new Seahawks Central News reporter, Kenzie Rothenberger, in the studio tonight to tell us a little about a new event that will be occurring at the end of this month. Kenzie? Thank you, Garrett. Yes, University of North Carolina Wilmington's Marine Quest is joining forces with Battleship North Carolina for the Coastal Climate Science and Engineering Expo. It will be held at Battleship Park on April 30th from 1 to 4 p.m. This will provide opportunities to learn about coastal locations and the science of climate change. This year's theme, Engineering Tomorrow, will emphasize how engineering is helping communities respond to pressures of climate change. Sue Cazillos, the Director of Youth Programs at UNCW, recognizes that the battleship is a highly recognizable symbol for Wilmington and is the perfect location to hold this event. This expo is free to attend and also includes access to the walkway that surrounds the battleship. Participants who wish to visit the battleship may do so by purchasing tickets. Children under the ages of 11 can tour for free accompanied by a ticketed adult. There will also be short waterfront tours offered by Wilmington Water Tours for a small fee. Well, that's it for us this week. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to UNCW Till TV on your favorite social media platform. For Seahawks Central News, I'm Boyce Rucker. And I'm Garrett Wishon. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you soon.